Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Simone. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you um, subscribe before you go. Um, so today's topic is having anxiety and not being able to socialize. So social anxiety can like wrap up into this too. So my anxiety started... Uh, I guess when I got a foster care. No, it started in high school. So it was like a year after foster care. Just because like, you know, high school is like that that time and it's just different than you're used to. Well, yeah. When I got a foster care, I had graduated in eighth grade. And that's when my mom came and got me from my graduation. So, <clears throat> okay. So I went into high school and it was really bad. I tried to fit in so bad and I just, you know, I tried to redeem myself because my confidence was low. It was really low. Um, it was because of what happened to me and I just didn't have anything left in me as a little girl. Um, so it just really ruined my life. Um, and so I just started to try and fit in and be, um, be normal. Try to be normal again and just didn't work out for me. So I let what people, what people say about me get to me and, um, it made me depressed. It made me angry. It made me sad. And it just gave me so much much anxiety. I still have anxiety to this day. But I know how to handle it a little bit more. Oh, really shy and like I try to fit in with the wrong crowd, which wasn't good. I couldn't have friends for a long time. Like now I don't really have friends. Um kind of stick to myself. I have my fiance and I have, you know, my little baby who's coming, so they're going to be my friends forever, but, like, in high school, I didn't have friends. People didn't, like, I don't know, like me, but they would pretend to like me, and I don't know why. Like, now, my social anxiety is kind of bad. Like, I don't talk to people as much just because I feel like they hate me, and, like, I just feel like um, I'll say something so wrong that... They won't, you know, they won't even want to be my friends, you know? The big reason why, uh, well, the reason because of I me mean, having social anxiety, but I still had friends and stuff like that, you know, it's high school, so whatever. Um, but I just couldn't relate to people as much in, in high school or in my life, period. Um, so, because it's just like... I don't know how to express myself and you should express yourself with your friends like if something's really bothering you you could probably go to them more than you can go to your family um, but you just have to find the right group that won't you know spread your business around and actually give you great advice um, I came on here with no makeup because I just want to like express the beauty in everyone and in myself as well like be confident and um don't ever hold your tongue if you really need to say something like say it but you can always say it in a way where it won't be as bad um like me i would say things like those on my mind but i really would come so aggressive to the point where I try to fight a lot and it was just not cute, it was not okay and I, I'm really embarrassed by my actions in high school <sighs> and so that's why I'm kind of like socially not social I'm not really social now because like I'm scared because of what people have seen of me and and will think of me now and just like you know it's just kind of scary and just to like, I don't know, be nice to people who may have talked crap about you in high school. 
It's like, uh, do I really have to? And um, I had a car in high school, so it was really fake friend frenzy. Like, I don't know, like people would just ask me for rides and I would be dumb enough because I really wanted friends. Um, and I'll be dumb enough to give it to them. And I had a couple friends that were, we were really close. But I don't feel like it was a real friendship because, like, of, like, situations that happened later in life and how that went down. Um, dealing with social anxiety, um, you kind of just have to learn to calm it down. How I do it is, have you ever heard the term, think before you speak? Think before you speak, literally. You don't want to say the wrong things. So, like, every... Every conversation, I always like analyze what they're saying, and I actually listen to what they're saying. And when I'm ready to ready to speak or reply, um, I think about my reply, like how would this make them how how would it make them feel if I said this? How would I feel if someone said that to me? You know, um, and that's how I kind of control it. And just be like, you know, I'm just, just be nice. Kill them with kindness um, is a big one. Um, and just, period, be kind to everyone. Everyone who's kind to you, you better be kind to them because that's just not good karma. Um, Lilybug got in trouble, so she's over here staying by me. Hi, Mama. Yeah, I got in trouble. This is Lily. So she wants to stay by me. So, um, no girl, you're not gonna lick me in my face. She threw up yesterday, and my other dog ate all her throw up. Like, it's gross. It's so, I'm like, done. Like, ew. But anyway, so, yeah. Um, think before you reply. No, mama. Hey. Um, and just, like, anxiety period. Stop. Anxiety period. Like, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Because... Anxiety can be a killer, baby.